All right, let's go to Mark in Clearwater. Hey, good morning, y'all. I'll make it quick. Uh, I'm in a truck which involves uh, three other siblings and myself, and uh, we own a home in out of state. Mm -hmm. And we initially had agreed that we were going to hold on to the home and fix it up and you know use it as a vacation property for ourselves and possibly rent it to people that we know. Uh, in the last four years, my father passed away four years ago. Um, there's been some events that have happened in other people's lives involved in it that mm -hmm. uh, they really could use the money once it's sold. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, it's in, it's in a trust, and if it's sold, what are the tax implications if we've owned the property for four years from the initial date of the trust when my father passed away? Well, the property would obtain a new cost basis at the time of death of the person who owned the property. Okay. So you'd have a capital gains difference on the selling price from the value at the time of the person's death. Okay. So four years ago, the property's worth 100. Now it's worth 150. You'd be paying capital gains tax on 50,000 in that example. In, including improvements to the property or whatever the property appraises for now compared to what it would have been valued No, at you can count in, place. you can count in. So you uh, paid the uh, cost basis at the time of death was 100. You put $20,000 worth of improvements on the property that you have receipts for and everything. And the property's worth uh, 150, so now you'd pay thirty thousand dollars, and uh, you'd pay capital gains tax on thirty thousand. So the the amount that you spent on the improvements would be erased from the total amount yeah, well, that would be worth right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That answers my question. Then. Thank you very All much. All right. Thank you for calling.